Because reading is what? Fundamental! Yeah, you know it. Hello, I'm Frankie Fan, and welcome to this exclusive edition of Reading is Fundamental, the book review show where I talk to you about books related to the LGBTQ plus community and authors. Brought to you by RPDR UK fans. All of you ridiculously beautiful girls, gays, and absolutely anybody listening, I have a right treat for you this episode. I'm going to be talking at you about probably my most favourite non-fiction book. It's my go-to read when life is getting too much and I need to take a second and refocus. It's The Diva Rules by the Queen herself, Michelle Visage. I've, no joke, read this book probably 15? No, more like 20 times. And that's not even an exaggeration. I've read it a lot because it really does have a kind of power in it that makes you feel better about yourself, that you're perfect the way you are and helps you realise that you really can achieve anything. All you have to do is believe in yourself and most of all, be yourself. In these fabulous pages, Michelle talks about significant points in her life where she learned a valuable life lesson. Like the time when she was a regular on the Harlem ballroom scene and was trying way too much to be a gay man. She was being a little bit too extra with all the YAH! And girl, you are over! But the tea was, she didn't have to do all that. What she learned was that she didn't need to because all the people around her already loved her and accepted her for who she was. She was already one of them. She didn't need to try that hard to fit in with her chosen family. Anyway, back to the book. At the end of each chapter, or rule as Michelle likes to call them. Hello, it's called the diva rules after all. She gives you the tea. A few pages in which she gives you advice that she's learned so that you can use it in your own life. She's just trying to give you the tools you need, which you probably already have by the way. You just haven't realized it yet. So you can achieve the goals you have. And girl, you better work. Wait, I mean, you better believe it's possible to achieve any goal you set your mind to. And you better work. Now on a personal level, this book helped me out so much during a very dark period in my life. But look at me now. I'm laughing and smiling and I genuinely enjoy life. I fucking love it. It changed my life. It made me believe in myself again. And I think that's something we all need to do have a bit of self-belief and confidence. Michelle mentions that to help her, she has up on her wall, a sign which reads, what would Madonna do? And she uses it when she's in a bit of a tough place and isn't sure what to do. And she says it guides her to the right answer every time. Now I've taken this and I have a sign up on my wall, but it says, what would Michelle do? And it's really helped me. Seriously, I actually have that up on my wall. Through these 25 rules, the inspiring Michelle talks about her childhood when she was an organ playing pom-pom captain, as already mentioned, her time on the Harlem ballroom scene, which is where she came up with her name, Visage. So there you go. She'll help you celebrate your competition, talk to you about her experiences trying to make it in a man's world, and even the story behind why she wasn't on the first two seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race. Although I imagine most of you out there probably know the reason already. Well, if you don't, now's your chance to find out. My personal favourite rules are number 15 and number 16. Oh, and number 9. Be the honey and wait for the bees. This book will help you make friends, build your confidence, get that job you want, get that guy, and just focus on what you need to do to get to where you want to be. Now, yes, it's called the diva rules, but as Michelle states, being a diva is not about being a bitch. It's about respecting and being secure in yourself, knowing your worth, and just being full of love. I have nothing but praise for this book. I cannot recommend it enough. For anybody that needs a little bit of guidance in their life, maybe you don't want like a full-on self-help book, maybe that term scares you, self-help. This is probably the book for you because it's more like an advice book from somebody that knows her shit. It's only available in hardback, and if you're going to learn anything about me from these reviews, I do like it hard. When it comes to my books, although I don't mind a paperback, but hard is just my preference. If you haven't read it, I highly insist you do. And if you have read it, well, maybe now's the time that you read it again. There may be something different you take from it reading it a second time around that you didn't on the first. I love it. Like, really love it. I wish I had a signed copy. So ditch the drama, find your strength, and sparkle your way to the top by getting yourself a copy of The Diva Rules by Michelle Visage. And that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Now you know what I'm gonna say. Make sure you subscribe to the RPDR UK Fans YouTube channel and check out all of the social media accounts, which is RPDR UK Fans across all platforms we use. And also make sure you check out the brand new website, rpdrukfans.co.uk. It's the home for everything RuPaul's Drag Race UK fans. 
drag news, upcoming shows, podcasts, merch. It's all there, so go and take a peek. And if you want to see more of me, Frankie Fan, then check out and follow me on my social media, which is at the Frankie Fan across all platforms. Well, the ones I use anyway. Thanks!